how can an automotive company implement serial production of a 3D printed part? My name is Doug Gurgel and I'm the Automotive Applications Director for Carbon. We get lots of questions about how to qualify 3D printed parts for production. Today I'd like to answer that question. I'll start with a slide showing the project life cycle. We work with customers in any of the four fundamental stages. Today I'm going to focus on serial production and how Carbon and our preferred automotive partner, Fast Radius, achieves an automotive PPAP and serial production approval with Carbon Digital Light Synthesis, or DLS. It starts with material validation. Here, customers are interested in analyzing and validating fundamental material properties even before creating a component or product level part. Carbon offers an unusually robust range of engineering grade 3D printing materials. As an example, EPX82 has been certified in several customer libraries as a T2 or 105 degrees Celsius material and has met or exceeded validation requirements such as temp humidity cycling, thermal shock, 3000 hour thermal aging, and automotive fluid chemical resistance. Carbon is happy to provide technical data sheets, test coupons, or sample parts for EPX82 or any of our suite of automotive materials. Step two, part validation. Customers find that product development can be expedited and de-risked using Carbon DLS as engineers and designers get immediate feedback on design changes. Carbon can work with product engineers to revise the design and provide samples literally the next day. Validation test components can then quickly be made, allowing part validation to occur literally within days of design freeze. These components meet or exceed the same test requirements as an injection molded part. No special deviations are expected with a Carbon DLS part. As shown on the slide, Carbon has successfully validated numerous components running in serial production today. The third step in preparing a part for serial production is the all-important production part approval process, or PPAP. During this stage, it must be shown that 3D printing process can produce the part to design specifications despite normal variations of the production process. Key product characteristics, or KPCs, are monitored during process variation to confirm the part requirements are met independent of process variation. As an example, the PPAP of the Aptive Delete Cap was achieved across more than 100 prints while varying printers, build platforms, cassettes, and part position. Subsequently, a full PPAP certification was granted to Fast Radius for the delete cap as the KPC requirements achieved a CPK exceeding 1.7. Carbon DLS has satisfied the PPAP requirements of numerous tier and OE customers. A volume trial run of typically 100 to 500 pieces are conducted at the manufacturing plant as the last step of serial production approval. When the vehicle or component assembly plant approves the trial run, serial production orders can normally begin to flow. The beauty of DLS is that these elements can be achieved in about half the time of a normal injection molded serial product introduction. That concludes today's discussion. And if you enjoyed this presentation, please subscribe to Ask an Additive Expert on YouTube. Thank you.